Hey everyone, this is Vikas for Skyline Motions and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this type of light leak effect in Blackmagic Fusion. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to take a new composition. So go to file menu and click on new and take a new composition and go to file menu again and click on preferences and here is frame format so this composition is 1920 into 1080 and 30 frame per second so it's good click on save now we have to take a fast noise so go to tool menu and here is creator option and here is fast noise so click on this and take a fast noise node and uh, drag this fast noise to the viewer and click on this uh, window layout one for single view and click on this fit button and increase the size of this preview window Okay, now right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap. Okay, now double click on this fast noise and go to properties and here is a scale value. So put the value 1.1 and hit enter. Okay, now we have to set this composition 150 frame long which is approx 5 seconds. So put the value uh, 150 and hit enter. Okay, now go to frame number zero and right click on this uh, set value and click on animate and go to frame number 150 and set this value approx two okay so it's looking something like that okay now we have to take a background node so click on this bg button and add a background node and select this background and press f2 to rename and rename it to bg and click on okay now we have to take a merge node so click on this uh, merge button and, and add a merge node and connect this yellow point to this and green point to this and drag this merge one to the viewer okay now select this fast noise and go to properties and here is color tab so click on this and here is color one and color two so pick color two something like black and click on ok and pick this color like deep blue and click on ok okay now set this color something like uh, this okay now let's play this okay now we have to add an expression for this color so right click on this r option and click on this modify width and select sake okay so now let's play this okay so it's looking something like that Okay, after that, select this merge and press shift plus a spacebar for search box and search for glow. So this is a glow node, click on OK and drag this glow to the viewer. So it's looking something like that and let's play this. Okay, it's looking nice. Okay, now let's apply this effect on an image. So go to folder and uh, import this image. You can download this image from pixabay.com and I have given a link in the description. So download this and drag and drop to the flow window. And now let's rename it. So right click on this and click on this rename option and rename it to image and hit enter. Okay. Now select this image and press shift plus a space bar for search box and search for crop node. So, so this is our crop node. Click on okay and drag this to the viewer and double click on this crop node. And here is Y offset. So set this value something like um, 220. Okay, now select this crop node and add a transform node. So click on this XF button and drag this transform to the viewer and go to frame number 150 and right click on this size, click on animate and go to center and right click on this also and click on animate and go to frame number zero and increase the size of this uh, image something like 1.2. Okay, and set this uh, Y offset something like this. So now let's check this okay so it's looking something like that okay now we have to take a merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node and connect this yellow point to this transform and green point to this glow effect and drag this merge to to the viewer and double click on this merge node and here is apply mode so change this normal to screen okay and set this blend value 0.8 okay now let's play this okay so it's looking something like that okay now we have to take a background node and create an aspect ratio so select this background node and press f2 to rename and rename it to black 
and hit enter okay now select this black and click on this rectangle mask and add a rectangle mask and set this mask something like uh, this okay and click on this invert now take a merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node and rename it to main okay and connect this yellow point to this merge and green point to this black and drag this main node to the viewer so it's, it's looking something like that and now it's almost done so let's check this okay so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you next tutorial till then bye bye